Welcome to Artistic Adventures. We're going to finish up our Steampunk Poison Ivy project today with making her top hat and some finishing touches. Let's get started. All right, so um, you haven't seen her whole face and hair since uh, we started doing the outfit and everything. So um, she, here she is back with um, her hair pulled back with a little butterfly clip that I had. And we're going to make her a top hat. And also put some lashes on before I came on because, you know, I struggle with that. And I don't like everybody to see me struggling with that. So <laughs> I'm going to make her a little earring out of this cute bead. It's a little glass leaf. And I attached a green wire to it in a loop with some thread so that it would dangle. I put a little bit of um, E6000 on there. And then I'm going to pop some of these watch parts on to make it steampunky. Steampunk leaf. Yeah. So, um, this will go into the um, ear on the left side, on her left side. She already has some earrings on the right side, and I, I kind of like the way they look for her character, so I'm going to leave those. So, that's the way this will look, and it's I like that, you know, it dangles. That's why I used the thread, so it wouldn't be stiff. So, I'm going to stick this in here, and then I'm going to put a little bit of uh, glue on it to make sure that it stays in her ear, because the wire is not... It's not wide enough to hold in the hole that's already there. Okay, so that's there. And you can see there she has like four earrings in that one ear. All right, so now I'm going to make uh, start making the hat. I have this uh, scrap piece of leather. And um, first of all, I'm going to cut a strip that will be the side of, sides of the hat. And uh, kind of have an idea of how I'm going to make this and about how big it is. So... I'm just going to roll this around. I want it to be a little smaller at the bottom than the top, which means I'm going to have to somewhat angle the um, the way it's wrapped, which will make the top and the bottom not even. But we can even we can make that work. So you can see how I'm sort of angling it a little bit to make the top part bigger. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess that I don't need. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim off the main part of this that's overlapping because it sticks up so much and I need to use the top as a pattern to cut the top of the hat. So um, you can see there we just going to even that up a little bit so it's uh, the top is even. All right, we'll do the bottom in a little bit after I glue it. So I can also use that the bottom part as a guide for the brim of the hat. All right, so it is uh, shaped the way I want it. And I'm just going to put a little glue on that seam to hold it down and let that dry. And then when we come back, I'm going to use uh, the top part to draw a circle. And when I cut it out, I'm going to cut it out just a little bit bigger than the line. Because we can always trim the top off once we glue it on. And it's better to be bigger than too small and then it will just fall into that. <laughs> All right, so um, the next part is we're going to use the bottom part after we trim it to um, make the brim of the hat. And the brim of the hat will have a hole in it, although it's not going to be made to fit her head. It's going to be made to sit on top of her head. But anyway, we'll we'll have the hole in it anyway. So you can see there that's that's where the top part will go on the on the top. And then we're going to mark around the bottom and then I'm going to freehand a little bit for the brim. Now I'm going to actually cut in a, a little maybe sixteenth of an inch because the hat's going to sit down on this and we'll glue it to it. Glue it to it. I like that. All right, so I'm going to cut it just a little bit, bit bigger around or actually it's smaller circle. That way there's plenty of room to glue it. And I'm going to take some of uh, our E6000 and put around the bottom of the hat. And I'm doing this so that, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm, I'm kind of doing it on the bottom, but also so that it sort of leans toward the inside. That way, not much of the glue will show. And just put it on there and resist the urge to mess with it. Look at my fingers. They want to get in there and mess with it. So just pat it down. And we're going to let it dry. And then I'm uh, going to do the same thing at the top, putting it around, but 
hopefully it's leaning in a little bit so that it, the glue doesn't uh, show on the outside. And then we're just put that in and once again just give it a pat. Don't be messing with it because <laughs> you'll mess it up. And we're going to let that draw. I'm going to go take a nap or something. Uh, before I did that though I did want to show you that I painted her nails uh, red to match her hair. We'll let those dry also while we're letting the hat dry. Okay, so back from my nap <laughs> and uh, this is all nice and dry and we can manipulate it without worrying about it falling apart. So the first thing we're going to do is cut off that excess edge there around the top of the hat. Now when we do this, it leaves a white sort of tannish area from that shows. So I'm going to take a marker, a permanent marker that's brown and mark the edge there just so it, it doesn't look so obvious you know that it's been cut so it'll all sort of look like one piece because these hats are actually molded you know if you've ever seen how they're made it's really interesting uh, but of course uh, we can't do that because we don't have hat molds I'm also going to use the marker around the brim because that also was cut and showed the white part of the leather okay so now we've got the base of our hat and I'm going to use a, a contrasting color of leather to put around the top of or the bottom part of the hat and this is uh, where we're going to do some decorations and I cut it so that it fits exactly together in the back but I'm keeping all my seams in the back so they're they're not so obvious all right now I'm going to pull out my watch parts that I talked about last time I, I think I told you I got these I either on eBay or Etsy I can't remember and uh, I'm going to use this one clock face, watch face, on the side of the hat. I just, I just kind of like having that there. It It's big and it sort of emphasizes that it's uh, that they're watch parts. And it's sort of a whimsical touch. So I'm going to use that bigger piece there on the side. And then I'm going to put some glue down around the band and then uh, put some of these smaller pieces on top of that. I'm just going to go all the way around with that and then to make it more of a poison ivy steampunk I want to add some more of those uh, little ivy leaves so I'm going to clip some of those off and glue those on the other side opposite from where the watch face is so I'm just gonna put about three I guess I think that'll look good and I'm putting two small ones and one big one and that will give it the poison ivy touch all right and that's how that looks on the side all right let's see how this all comes together now is everybody excited to see steampunk poison ivy yay there she is with her hat and I do want to say that um, I've never used this hair color before and I don't know if it's me or the hair color and the way I did it, but it did transfer to her skin. So I've had to go back and clean up her skin in several places. I'm hoping now that it's pulled away, it's not going to, uh, you know, damage it anymore. And I did wash her hair again after I finished the outfit. So I did get a little bit more of the dye out. But I just wanted to warn you that if you're, if you're doing that, you may have to watch out for that dye uh, coming off on the skin or other things or costume or, or you know anything so I'm giving you a few um, side looks and close-up looks and how she looks I gave her ringlets because I thought that was very steampunk even though it's probably not very poison ivy but it looks I think it looks appropriate with with the outfit and I'm really happy with how things turned out I think she's Got a little bit of an evil look in her eye, but, you know, she could she could be some good, a little bit, right? <laughs> and uh, I really enjoyed this project. It was something different, and I, I like being able to use some of the dolls that I have with uh, green or blue skin, too. All right, so that's the end of that project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, and I hope that you're looking forward to future projects. I've got a few things in mind. And I'll be back next week with a new project that we can work on. 
So make sure and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thanks and bye.